towing stuff is hard. We brought in real tow truck drivers to break down videos of catastrophic towing failures. This is real mechanic stuff. First clip. Where is this? Yeah, this is like 1970s. Oh my gosh. I think this is like shot. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! <laughs> this little guy right here is broken over here somewhere, and so it's like swinging the car back and forth like this. Yeehaw! I'm November. I am a repo driver after being a tow truck driver for a while, and I was in a movie. Encino Man. You were in Encino Man? Yes, sir. Were you Brendan Fraser? I was Brendan Fraser's friend. Three. My record six. You want to explain that? Yeah, I took out six cars, kind of similar to that. I went around a corner. Didn't realize this old Cadillac was steering not where I wanted it to go. And it took out one, two, three, four, five, and six cars. There was zero damage to this Cadillac, but I couldn't say that for the rest of the cars. Yeah. I'm Steve Garcia. I've been in the industry since 1987. How do you secure? The front wheels like that. Well, you get into the car and you either use rope or its own seat belt to tie it down, and it keeps the wheels straight in line with where you want to go, nice. not swing out, take out 10 cars. Been there, done that. All right, next clip. Oh, got a little bit of sway there. Oh, that's a lot of sway. It's going over. Uh -oh. He won't be able to use it. He made it. Well, it's too much weight for the truck that's pulling. He probably doesn't have any brakes on the trailer. Looks like he's going downhill. He got lucky. I hope he bought that uh, $20 comprehensive U-Haul <laughs> insurance. <U> -haul insurance. <laughs> so if you're hauling something and you start getting the wiggles, what do you do? What are you supposed to do? Well, I would tell this, this particular driver, take his foot off the gas. Just tap on the brakes and just try to bring it to a calm. If he were to slide it in a neutral and kind of let the steering wheel kind of slide for a second, don't mm -hmm. try to uh, crank it. The car wants to right itself. So a lot of times if you just leave it alone, mm -hmm. it'll uh, go straight. The best way to recover from a situation like this is just to not get yourself in that situation. Sure, of course. Obviously the truck he's towing in the trailer is beyond the weight capacity of, of the truck that he's using to tow that. If I'm gonna move it around the corner a couple blocks, mm -hmm. maybe, but not on a highway like that. The first and most important step in towing anything is properly securing the vehicle and your surroundings. But when you're a tow truck driver called out to the scene of an accident, that's easier said than done. Woo! He went into the library. Or is that some kind of church wall? Look at that brick. Oh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, 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 that is so classic. And you, you like how the fireman's just standing there. He's not running for his life. No, oh, man, that guy's battle-hardened. He, he, he's like, yeah, I could fall on my head. I got a good, yeah, I got a good helmet, got a helmet on. Helmet. Most likely the guy was going too fast, and once he hit that grass, mm -hmm. it was like ice. Yeah. And us as recovery guys, we're not responsible for any damage. I mean, so. how else are you going to get that car out right. of it? I would not have done that myself. I would actually put the car in neutral and have people push it out. And then as soon as it's cleared the wall, then I'd hook it up. What's the sketchiest type of recovery to do when you're a tow truck driver? My opinion is uh, ones that go over the side of mountains mm -hmm. where people just overcompensate. They're going too fast and they go right over. Two, three hundred feet down yeah. the side and it's straight up and down. Have tow trucks like gone over trying to get a, a car out or? Oh, yeah. How many tow trucks can a tow truck tow? Yeah. <laughs> Next clip. Oh. <laughs> He's pushing it by hand. What's he doing? Oh, that's funny. He's gonna land right on the truck and possibly roll away. Oh. Oh, wow. God. How did I predict that one? <laughs> so they hooked this. And they so hooked it from this side. Yeah, and then they And we're hoping that they could tow it like this mm -hmm. and then plop it down. He probably could have reached in there and pulled the e-brake or put it in park mm -hmm. to keep it from rolling. Is that kind of the first consideration now when you're at a scene to put that e-brake on once he, you start the tow definitely, process? Definitely, definitely got to secure the car. When it comes back on its wheels, there's always that possibility it could roll. Mm -hmm. We run the cable from here to the end of the flatbed and then we use a straight peg four by four to kind of push down here with the cable and wow. it comes right over, no way. right behind the truck, yeah. Wow. Driving a tow rig is one of the most dangerous jobs out there because drivers are required to place themselves in sketchy situations on a daily basis. No matter how well trained you are, you're only as safe as the drivers that you share the road with. So, that guy's in cuffs. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. 
That's pretty amazing. We've all thought about it. I'm hearing the Dukes of Hazard theme in my head. We've all thought about it, but don't do it, because that's what happens. Oh, yes. he, he like cleaned the top of the bed off and everything. <laughs> Police officers, instead of putting their patrol cars in line to protect that tow truck driver, mm -hmm. everybody's focused on the other side of whatever's happening on the freeway. And this looky Lou guy yeah. is my guess, wasn't paying attention. There goes that. $200,000 truck. You could drive it back though, you know, you got the driver's side yeah, still intact. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's our worst nightmare. Really? Because people talk about it all the time. I've had guys go up like this, and then they look at us, and then they're, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I've had some pretty close calls. One where I was had a CHP officer where I actually saw a car coming at us, and it was in his blind spot and I grabbed him and me and I threw us both over the guardrail. Wow. And the car just sideswiped, sideswiped my rig. Dang. The officer was pretty mad because he got all dirty. I just got my suit from the dry cleaners. He was, <laughs> instead of thanking me for almost yeah, saving yeah, the guy, yeah. he was mad, he was mad at me for doing that. I didn't go to jail that day, so yeah. I, I guess it was a good day. Yeah, so. jeez. Please hit that like button and click subscribe if you're enjoying this video. It's kind of the only way we can uh, keep on making them is if we know you guys like them. So thank you very much. Next clip. When you forget to care. Yeah, you're good. Oh no. Oh you no. You said you're good. Oh no. Goodbye, linkage. Yeah, oh, and the tires are gone. No, it's it's working. It's, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's good. good. Oh yeah, he's Keep carving going. right into good that. Good. Oh, goodbye. Good. Goodbye. Good. Down to the rims in seconds. Good. If someone ever did that to my car in earnest, I would kill them. No, I wouldn't. But I would be mad. Are there situations where you can just cause more damage uh, to the car where it just doesn't really matter? Sure. Get a car that's been rear-ended by a big rig and you know it ain't coming back. Mm -hmm. It's a, a you know, point of no return. You can scratch it. <laughs> it. It might buff out. Yeah. <laughs> it does happen when cars are totaled because mm -hmm. the tow truck drivers want a good laugh. Uh -huh. And they do do things to vehicles. If it's totaled, it's totaled. And, and it's going to be treated like that. Sometimes cars are just near impossible to tow correctly, or you need to tow them in a hurry. Let's see what this next tow truck driver does. What on earth is going on? He's towing it. He's crab okay, so walking he's got it. like the... The car is still engaged. Listen to the squeaking of the tires. Yeah, so the, the steering wheel's locked. Oh, he's sidewinded. That's what happens when you get a car that uh, the steering wheel just automatically locks gotcha. in that position. It's not uncommon, and we have towed cars like that, impounded them. Not real legal to do. Mm -hmm. It's not recommended. I mean, but uh, we... I'm sure every tow truck driver that's been out there doing an unconsensual tow has done. He's just dragging tire. How far do you think this is gonna make it? Not far. And, uh, he's just gotta, you know, avoid getting the ticket pulled over because I don't think law enforcement would appreciate yeah. that too much, so yeah. to speak. Is there any risk for harm to the car at this point? No, he's he's okay. I mean, he's, the, the car's just tracking, tracking sideways. Mm -hmm. It's not tracking behind the truck, but right. it's not gonna hurt the car. My car's pretty low, like, I have to put, I have to go up on race ramps to jack it up, to get even even get a jack under mm -hmm. there. Is that stupid from a towing perspective? Am I gonna get my car damaged if uh, I need to like load it onto a car? Let's say me, a tow truck driver, I show up and I've got five illegally parked cars. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to the easiest ones first. Oh. Bottom line, bottom line, I'm gonna go after a truck, it's, it's wheels mm -hmm. are straight, it's easy grab and go. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna deal with, th with that. Before we watch this next clip, we want to warn viewers who love priceless classic cars to please jump ahead in the time code in this video. I'm going to give you a moment to decide if you really want to see this. Okay, enough time. Let's go. Oh no. I almost can't watch this one. Jeez. Corvettes. Classic Corvette. Oh, oh no! It's yep, it's going. <laughs> File that under what the hell were they thinking? Yeah, man. I would cry, I think. <laughs> but you guys should have been in the car, stepping on the brakes, not letting it get to the point of no return. This okay. is definitely on the shipping company. So, They're going to pay for it. There's things like this that happens every day. You got to make sure the car's secure. As a driver, you're always responsible for what's in front of you, to the sides of you, and most important when towing, 
What's above you? Let's see why. No. Oh, I have to say I've done this before, actually. He won't no. be camping today. Oh! The guy just was not using any common sense. Just go into the bank if it's that important. Is there a way in advance to know what the clearances are? Yeah, we have all of it marked and it's like, it's, it's on the front of the cab. It's also on the back so that when we're looking over our shoulders, that we can see it on the back side of the. It should be printed over here as well, in different places, like it should be on the swing arm. So it's stuff. all over the truck. Yeah. And then I've seen it on buildings like this. Right. It tells you how tall it is, so. Mm -hmm. This dude is just dumb. Next clip. Where it is. <laughs> He's floating on his two tires. Yeah, front wheel drive. Being as it's four wheel drive, I can see why it's moving on its own power. He probably put it in the water just fine going back downhill, but now it's probably taken on some water and added some extra weight. The angle of the trailer isn't matching the where the truck's level is. He needs a much heavier truck. He needs to drain the water out of it and make it as light as possible. Are there any unique characteristics to towing a boat? Have you ever repoed a boat? No. It's just scary, man. Repoing boats is scary. <laughs> all of these trailers for boats are uh -huh. kind of homemade. Yeah, there's know, no like whatever. rules on it. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're all different. Ask any boat owner to tell you the same thing. The happiest day is when you buy it and when you sell it. Towing is more complicated than you might think. Sometimes it makes the most sense to tow a vehicle that's towing another vehicle. <laughs> this flatbed is hauling the Silverado. The Silverado is hauling one, two, three, three dirt bikes. Okay, it's also hauling this flatbed. Oh, I hate those trucks. This box truck. In the back of this box truck Pro is an old four wheeler one of those. tundra. In the back of the tundra is a four wheeler. Then okay. you have this like tree picker truck hauling a Corolla. Look where and he's got his straps. He's got it through there. You the... have this truck wow. hauling an old like Toyota hard body, <laughs> just the front, and an F-150. But it gets even worse because this truck and this truck are attached. Look at that. I, I'm actually impressed with that. That's what I call toe ducking. Wow. <laughs> That's actually very common. Those are those are trucks that people load and they stack and stack and stack mm. as much as they can. These trucks are taken usually like South America. Oh. They're driven that way. Sometimes I'm in the uh, insurance auctions, they mm. buy all these things and wow. uh, they just start loading them up and start chaining them down. Oh, okay. And, uh, and okay. then get as much as they possibly can because one way is a lot of miles. Chain it up and get her done. What could go wrong? <laughs> Everything? Look where the strap is. Through like uh, the yeah. radiator. Yeah, it's going through the uh, bash bar. Yeah. So to answer your question, what could go wrong? And it's towing this whole thing. This other truck break, breaks away from whatever those chains were between them on the freeway. All right, let's see that last clip. Our director Tony titled it the John Cena of towing. Can't wait to see why. That Duick power oh, is yeah. real. Important they do this kind of sh <laughs> no strap. Oh no, no, no! Come on! Wow! Oh, come on, Betsy, we're what? moving. Is there somebody else in the I other? Feel like there might be somebody, somebody like, else in the other. Hey, we're gonna break it now. Go ahead, slow it down to twenty. I mean, that's just with one strap. One There's someone strap. in there. Oh, there is. There's a in guy there. in there. We got you. It looks like you can't <laughs> trick us. That's totally illegal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the same kind of thinking that got us to the moon. So what do you think happens there when they slam on the brakes? Uh, I, I believe a lot happens. <laughs> yeah, I believe he's not gonna be able to stop because of the momentum, depending on how fast he's going. It looks like he's going pretty fast. Yeah. So it's gonna cause some major, major, major damage. All right, if you wanna see Steve reacting to some repos gone wrong, and then hit that like and subscribe button, then click right here. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button first. I mean that in not a thirsty way. Don't make me come after you for those likes. Yeah, he'll come after you, he'll steal your freaking car. And one more thing, if you've captured something on video that you don't see every day involving cars and you want a real expert or a real mechanic to react to it on this channel, you can now send it to realmechanicstuff.com and director Tony is bound by the rules of the road to take a look. Thank you so much, Steve, for joining us once again. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week.